Back here, these are two wind sensors. Um, we have two of everything on the boat because we want it to be fully redundant. The only thing we don't have two of is batteries and motors. These are ultrasound, so that way we know which direction the wind is coming from and we're able to make sailing decisions based on that. This is where all the decision making happens. We call this our control box. So there's a Raspberry Pi in here, there's several Arduinos, and this is how we can kind of distribute power to the rest of the components. We also have, currently, we have, a G, we have several GPSs on the boat, and we have an AIS uh, receiver so that we can find out where other boats are coming from and where their heading is, and we can also broadcast where we're going so that other boats know where we're going and they can avoid us. Um, and we know just to stay clear of boats that don't have as, you know, as narrow a turning radius as ours. And the Raspberry Pi is sort of the brain of the boat. It does, uh, it does the thinking, it, does, it downloads the weather information, and that's, it, it does the higher level decision making. So we're just making verifications, verifying that everything's going right. And Alan was just reflashing some software onto the Pies, onto the Arduinos to make sure that they're the right bootloader. So it's battery powered. We have 24 uh, lithium ion batteries in here. In, in four boxes of six. Uh, the solar panels give us most of the power that we need to be able to run the boat without, uh, without having to charge over and out. So we've accounted for about five weeks of smooth sailing in battery power. So if we don't run into sun at all for five weeks, we should mostly be okay. So this enclosure has two infrared cameras inside. And so we'll be using these for data collection. That sits on top of here and it sort of acts as like eyes for the boat. Um, so we'll be using these, we'll be collecting infrared images um, throughout our trip across the Atlantic, and we'll be using those as data collection for possibly further attempts. Very few people can get to say, yeah, I, I worked on a boat that's a robot boat that's, gonna, that's meant to cross the Atlantic Ocean, and I spent a month just testing it out on the water in Newfoundland. I feel like not very many people get to say that, so I'm very fortunate and incredibly lucky to, to be with this group of people in this, on this project.